Today I will show you how to change hair color in Photoshop using a color theory from previous tutorials. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun tutorial. If you didn't watch my previous tutorial about color theory, here's the link, please watch it before this one because Today I will show you how to change hair color but using a color theory. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Alright guys, today we will have fun with this beautiful image and we will change this hair color. But before we start we need to make a selection of the segments of this image that we want to change. Actually the, the selection of this hair. As you can see here I already did that. I made a mask, I made a selection by using a quick selection tool and just quickly select the hair and refine it later here with select and mask tool but i will not do that now because i don't want to take your time doing that i will just load by pressing ctrl or command key on the mac i will just load this selection in the scene as you can see here the selection it's in it all right and we will use curves let's use curves adjustment player and that's it as you can see only the the hair it's affected only this this mask let me show you the mask okay this is the mask all right the mask is not so perfect but it's okay for this tutorial it's tutorial about the colors and how to change colors using color theory not about selections all right all right guys as you can see here this hair color has a lot of reddish pigment in it and a little bit of green and a blue pigment too how to see that well it's pretty easy just go use a brush tool and press alter option key to use eyedropper and select some color, go here to see that the leading color is red, 117, then the green, 76, and then the blue, 56. All right. And let's first change this color into red color. How to do that? Well, it's pretty easy. As you can uh, remember from previous tutorial, let's go here, the red color, 100% red, it's zero in green, zero in blue, and 255 all the way in the red color. That means that we need to make red color to boost the red, to bring the red in like so. And we need to remove the green color from the scene because we don't need them, we need it. And to remove blue color from the scene like so. And then just tweak to find the perfect variant of red that you want to be in your image something like so let me show you before and after before and after of course you can change the, the red to be a little bit darker or brighter or you can even make less green in it and maybe less blue in it to have something like so you can change with the tone of that red color but the point here it's the red it's absence of green and blue color in the scene and it's 100% in, in a red channel. Okay, let's reset this and let's make her hair, her hair a little bit orange, like, like she is a ginger. How to get an orange color? Well, orange it's a lot of red and a little bit of green and zero in blue. We need to go to the red and to add a little bit of the red, like so, then we need to add a little bit of the green, like so, and to remove blue but let me see it's too much of green something like so and let's let's add the red and of course we can play with the with the tone of orange like maybe it's like this or maybe like this or even maybe go something like like so and add a little bit of red but that's the point here add the red Add the green, like so, and then remove a blue a little bit. And then you will have this orange color. It's so easy. Just watch the previous tutorial and you will connect the dots. Okay, the next color what we want to achieve, it's for example blonde color. It's actually yellow color, some variant of yellow color. How to get a yellow color? Well, if you remember from previous tutorial again, the red color and the green color, when you mix it together, you get, you got a perfectly yellow color. You don't need, of course, blue color in, in that combination. Let's reset this and 
Let's go to the red again. Add a lot of red, then add a lot of green, and you will have yellow. You're, you already have this yellow tone, but actually the blonde here has a little bit of bluish tone in it. And if you remove the blue, you will, you will have even more yellow. But if you add a touch of blue, something like so, maybe too much of red and green, let's, let's do something like like so, and then remove a little bit more of blue. You will have some blonde here. You can play, of course, with that. And maybe, maybe go from shadows and add a little bit red and green from shadows, like so. And maybe a little bit of the blue in shadows. And let me show you before and after before and after she is a blonde now of course you can go to rgb channel and make this even brighter or darker it's your own preference and tweak it a little bit more and to, to have the variant of blonde hair that you really want something maybe like so let me see okay i don't want this something like so it's really really nice okay that's not bad that's a little bit more towards the yellow than like real real blonde but it's okay let me show you before and after before and after really good now let's make her hair color match her lipstick color All right let's reset this and let's think about this the lipstick color it's some magenta pinkish reddish tone something like so and for that we obviously want to add a lot of red like so and then what about green well we don't want green here we maybe want a blue but we don't want green in it let's remove green and it's almost there as you can see if we add a little bit of blue that's it that's almost the same tone and it's really easy guys as you can see you can change her hair in any color you want just using a color theory how to mix colors of course, it's a lot harder when you have uh, completely black hair. It will be the next color we, we uh, will change now. But if you have completely black hair, it's really hard to make it, for example, blonde. It's not impossible, of course, but you will lose some details because in the black hair, you don't have so much details because everything is dark, it's black, you know. And when you have a lighter hair, it's really, really easy to change in any color you want. All right, let's go back and reset this and how to make this this brown hair to be really black dark color well there is a few few different ways the obvious way it's a lot of uh, guys doing this like go to the hue and saturation and let's let's just copy the mask here and just make this almost desaturate and make it darker and that's that's the black hair well that's okay but i will show you how to do that just using a color theory the black is absence of red green blue color we need to remove red color from the highlights for example like so and maybe midtones here then we need to remove green as you can see here then we need to remove blue of course and let me see like so and just play with that until you're satisfied with, with the tone of darkness you want to achieve. If you want completely dark, then you need to go really, really down, like so. Okay, red. We don't want red. That's nice. It's already almost black. And we don't want blue in the highlights, like so. All right, guys, I'm not seeing this color pretty good because I have lights behind the monitor, behind the screen, and it's messing with my eyes right now, but it seems like it's almost black, I think. Maybe you will see differently on your own screens, but we need to remove the green from, from highlights, like so. And maybe it's too much red even more, let me see. Yeah, and that's, that's basically it, guys. That's how you can have black black hair let me show you before and after before and after all right as you you saw just now the black hair it's 
absence of red, green and blue color from the scene. It's really easy. You can make hair look, for example, yellow. It's really easy to make uh, brown hair look yellow. Let me show you how. Let's reset all this, like so, and just remove red from the scene, like so, and then add green and remove blue, like so. And she's hair, it's now her hair, it's now actually green. You can achieve uh, maybe to match her hair uh, to the dress, dress tone here. And let's try to do that. Let's change this. Let's go to the blue channel and add a little bit of blue. And that's almost it. Let add, let's add a little bit of the green more. And let's see something like something like so. And now her hair match her dress almost almost matching you can play with the blue maybe it's too much blue or something like so and let me show you before and after before and after really really easy way to have any color in the scene you want you can make it purple let's reset this you can you can go with the blue put like so go with red like so and reduce green because uh, red and blue are giving magenta color and that's one tone of magenta, one variant, like so, it's so nice and that's it. Alright guys, that would be it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you understand how to change hair color in Photoshop using a color theory. Of course, you can always go down there and pick hue and saturation adjustment layer and move that hue slider left and right, left and right until you get the same result like we did today here but that's not the point here the point is to learn about the colors and color theory and to make colors work for you because with three basic colors red green and blue you can get any color in a visible spectrum practice and see you next week in the next tutorial bye bye wait don't go yet what about white hair color well that will be your homework try to think about color theory and how to get white color from three basic colors. You have all information in my previous tutorial. If you have trouble with that, please leave me a comment. I will be glad to help you. See you next week in the next episode. Bye bye.